clavicle or collarbone fractures are very common. They often result from a fall on the point of the shoulder or a direct blow to the clavicle. Clavicle fractures are often classified with the Allman classification system. Group 1 fractures are fractures that occur mid-shaft. These fractures usually heal well without surgery and are treated in a figure of eight brace or sling. However, if the fracture is severely displaced or shortened, or if one of the fragments threatens to poke through the skin, surgery may be necessary. Group two fractures are fractures that occur at the distal end of the clavicle. This is the end nearest the shoulder joint. Group two type one fractures are minimally displaced. The ligaments that hold the clavicle to the scapula are still intact. These fractures can usually be treated without surgery. Group two type two fractures occur medial to the coracoclavicular ligaments. Type two A fractures leave the coracoclavicular ligaments intact. Type two B fractures result in a tear of the conoid ligament. This sometimes results in forces that pull the fragments apart and make it difficult for the fracture to heal. And so group two type two fractures sometimes need surgical fixation. Group two type three fractures are fractures that occur distally to the coroclavicular ligaments. These fractures occur at and sometimes through the acromioclavicular joint. These fractures are usually treated without surgery but can result in arthritic changes in the AC joint later on. Group three fractures are fractures that occur on the sternal end of the clavicle. Group three type one fractures are minimally displaced and can be treated without surgery. Type two fractures are displaced and can sometimes push against nerves or blood vessels near the sternum. If this is the case, they may require surgery. Type three fractures involve the sternoclavicular joint and may result in arthritic changes later on. Type four fractures are fractures that separate the tip of the clavicle from the shaft at the growth plate. If minimally displaced, they can be treated without surgery. Type five fractures are comminuted or in pieces. They are usually treated non-surgically, but can result in arthritic changes later on.